Hello, <clears throat> my name is Andrew Hitchcock and I'm going to be talking about Puppet. For starters, I should introduce what Puppet is. Puppet is a tool that can be used to automate the management of the machines on your network. It's a system state configuration management software. That means that if there's configuration that needs to be taken place across machines on your network, Puppet can automate the process of handling that management. Right now, about three quarters of the Fortune 100 companies use Puppet. So Puppet is a great tool to learn about because um, there's a good chance the company you're going to work with is going to be using Puppet to some extent. Puppet is produced by a company called Puppet Labs, which can be uh, uh, found at the URL listed on the, on the screen. Um, and there's a few really good things about Puppet I'd like to mention today. For starters, Puppet's open source. Now there is an enterprise version that comes with additional support, but the open source version of Puppet has all the same tools that the enterprise version has, uh, so you can get rolling for free. Puppet works in a master client configuration setup, meaning in a Puppet environment, there's a Puppet master uh, and clients that are all connected to the Puppet master. On the clients, there's an agent that talks with the master and requests configuration changes that get pulled down from the master. In some configuration management systems, uh, the master can actively push changes to the clients, but with Puppet, the clients actively request configuration changes from the master. Puppet was written in C++, Clojure, and Ruby. Uh, however, any of the changes and configurations that are done in Puppet are handled in its own uh, simple, easy to understand language. If you want to develop with Puppet and, and expand upon the tools that Puppet has, most of that configuration would be done through Ruby, but just making configurations for your Puppet environment uh, is simple and easy to do. Puppet works by using files called manifests and modules. Within Puppet, there's a main manifest, which is like the main instruction file for Puppet to use. That main file can be used by itself. You don't have to use any Puppet modules. You don't have to use any additional manifests. The single main manifest can have all the instructions that you need for the clients that are connected to it. You can have it address all of the clients, or you can have it address individual clients, uh, so you can configure your machines the way you want to. But Puppet also can work with something called modules, which are uh, isolated, clean, um, contained instructions for specific tasks. If there's something you want to do, you can have it defined inside of a module, and then you can have the main manifest simply call that module. That way your main manifest file can be clean and neat. Another great thing about modules is the way that they're packaged make them easy to share and download. If there's something you want to configure through Puppet, there's a good chance it's already defined in a module that's already available to download. So because of that, Puppet is really easy to get started with.